Hello, it's Ugly, and we're gonna go over LL Vec Dist, which just is shortened for LL Vector Distance. It's to get the distance between two vectors um, in meters. <clears throat> now, here's an example right here. I'm getting my distance from me to the block. As you can see, one meter, two meter, four meter, five. So yeah, it keeps increasing while I go away. So we're gonna learn how to create that, and yeah, I'm gonna explain the vector. I, I mean the function. Uh, the function takes two two vectors, and then returns the distance between a vector a and b uh, while being a non-negative. So even if you have the bigger vector um, last and not first, no matter what, it's going to return a positive vector. So even if you're negative 20 meters away, it's going to be 20. So you don't. It doesn't matter which where you put the vector in the function as long as you put it in there. So we're just going to delete this and we're just going to... Okay, that did not work the way I planned. <laughs> okay, let us start. First I'm going to clean out this um, thing right here with just random digits and There we go. Okay. Whenever I'm recording, it just goes pretty slow. Okay, so let's start. <clears throat> In state entry, we're going to have a, a timer so that the LL set text can be repetitive and um, update re repeatedly. So we're going to do LL set timer event. And inside here, we're going to just put an integer or I mean a float of 0.1 pretty fast. We don't need touch start so I'm just gonna remove that and we're just gonna put the timer event which has no parameters so that's good. Okay now inside timer we want to have the set text to update with um, the distance between the the block and me. So first let's get the distance of the block which is easy um, I mean the vector of the block which is easy it is LL get pos, which stands for LL get position. Okay, so we're just gonna have a vector titled my pos equals LL get pos, and close that up. And then we're gonna have um, a vector for my position. But to get my position, we need to first uh, put everything in a list. Like I've said in other videos, a lot of, when we're getting data from an object or an owner, it's in a list. So we're going to do um, list, okay, uh, details equals ll get object details. Okay, now in here we want first to decide which key we're going to get the details from. Now we're going to get the key from obviously me, so I'm just going to put ll get owner, okay. And then we want here, we want to have a list of what details we want to get. We're going to get my position, so we're just going to do object underscore pause. Okay? You know that you have it right when it's um, highlighted in blue in the LSL in world editor. Okay. Now, down here, we want to do um, to get the object's position out of the list. Now, since we're only storing one um, entry inside the list, it's going to be the zero entry. So we're going to do vector owner pos equals ll list to vector. That means we're going to get the item out of the list and turn it into a vector. Okay, and we're going to do the list of details. Okay, and I spelled that wrong and zero, meaning the index of where we're going to get it out of in the list. Since I've already said there's only one entry, that means it's entry zero really in the list because the lists count from zero. Okay, 
Now that we have my position and the owner position, all we need to do is do some math. So let's do float distance equals LL vec dist, and this is what we're going over. First position, let's do my pos. Second position, let's do owner pos. Now it doesn't matter which or uh, order, it can be owner pos then my pos, and it will still work and still give the correct distance. Now, currently in our script, we have distance equaling the distance between me and this object um, in meters as a float. Now, to make it not ugly with like a leading zeros, uh, I'm just going to round it um, to an integer. So, we're just going to do LL set text, and I'm going to round it inside here just to make some room I guess owner distance okay now we want to close that quote and put a plus because now we're putting a variable a variable inside of a string so we're gonna do <clears throat> LL round and then distance inside of it okay but wait what's happening here we have to put string like this in front because we have to typecast our our new integer into a string because you can't put a string and an integer together um, with the plus sign okay let's um, add another string so we're gonna do another plus at the end and just put the letter M okay that's what we're doing and then we're just gonna uh, we're gonna put a comma because we still need to do the other parameters for set text. Let's make the color red, which is just one zero zero, as a vector. And then let's put the alpha to one point zero so it's fully visible, and save that um, script. Okay. Now when we get out of here, owner distance one three four yeah see it works perfectly fine I'm gonna put this script in the description thanks for watching